Hey everyone, it's Nick here, and I have another game for you guys. And it's not an Atari Jaguar game this time. Nope. Today we'll be checking out The Black Bass 2. Oh god, it's the sequel, which probably means it won't be as good as the first one, but I don't know since I never played the first one. Wait, I never played the first Black Bass game on the NES? No, I didn't. No. So actually, you might be thinking, oh, so this is a sequel to the NES game, it just didn't get released in the US. And that's where you would be wrong. It was actually the prequel which didn't get released in the US, hence the game we got in the US, the Black Bass, is actually the Black Bass 2 in Japan. Now the first game was released for the Famicom as well as the MSX computer by Hotbee, and of course this one is a Famicom exclusive, or NES exclusive, whatever. Now, I'm going to read the back box here really quick because, uh, you know, uh, from what I saw from the back U.S. cover, um, it's actually the same translation for the most part, but uh, th this is Google Translated just as a warning, but they, at least they've improved a lot since the beginning. So anyways, apparently this, this headline here says, if you notice, it's a professional fisher. Okay, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but... A black fish shadow that gradually emerges from the bottom of the water. Let's do a Markiplier voice here. My really bad Markiplier impression. A sweating fight. A sweating fishing fight for people and fish. This is a true simulation that makes such a dream fight a reality. That is the Black Bass 2. Completely upgraded from the previous work of Phantom... You can enjoy more realistic fishing by making use of the data obtained by serving Lake Ashi using a side scan sonar, apply technology for submarine detection, three dimensional underwater fight by vertical scroll that goes beyond the simulation. Moreover, the bass become smarter and smarter than its predecessor and jump and run into the roots of the trees underwater. Enjoy yourself and aim for tomorrow's professional fisherman. Isn't that a great translation? Okay. But yeah, the back box in the US version says, says pretty much the same thing. But before we go on to the game, we have to address this cover art right here. Um, I mean, look at this. This kid's TV screen, or, or could be a microwave, is flooded with water, and he's got this huge bass in his hands. And his reaction to all this, to his house fucking flooding? Oh! Oh! And funny enough, this kid actually does make an appearance on the back box of the um, NES version. I just found that out. Um, and I, it's, apparently Moby Games no longer puts watermarks on their games. Or at least that one didn't have watermarks on it. So if that's the case, then hooray, Moby Games. You guys actually got some respect for me. Um, and I'm a <laughs> I'm an admin on that site, funny enough. Um, so anyways, um, yeah. So an interesting game. I've, I'm not really good at fishing games because I have no freaking idea how to play them. I did read the instruction manual. And I kind of get it. We'll check it out. Just, just check it out. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, I love that music. 1988, Hot Bee Corp. Now, this game was developed by a company called Another, believe it or not. Um, they, they only did a few games, and they were never actually credited in game, but their name appears in the ROM text, which leads people to believe they were, in fact, the developer. As Hot B was actually just a video games publisher, they did not develop video games. So, here we go. We're going to take a look at the Black Bass. But not just any Black Bass, it's the Black Bass 2. And this really isn't a Black Bass as much as it is a blue bass over a black background. Okay, well, let's check it out. Okay, so now it's asking me for my name. Interesting that you still enter it in English, but... Sounds like the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse theme. Play game! So, watashi wa ranking player da. So, I'm a ranking player. Hajimete san... How's that? Oh. Hajimete san ka suruzo. Play game. Okay, uh, I think that means start. I know hajime means, like, start. And I think this views the scores. Kiroko o mite. Okay, so we're gonna play the games. Mm, yes, it doesn't sound funny that a white guy like me is speaking Japanese. Shotaicho, Ashi no ko de hiraka eru, Basu pro suritai kai ni shotai itashimasu. Okay, then we got Shusei, Hotobi, 
Yosan Anaza. Oh yeah, see, even the developers listed in this game. I, I did. I just realized that. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is. I don't know what I'm doing here. So here you select your point where you want to fish. Um, I'm just gonna go in this little pocket right here. Okay, and then what you do is you press the A button and you cast your lure. This is my first time ever playing. I think I forgot to mention that. Okay. Okay, so you press the left and right buttons to move the, the lure. And it doesn't look like we got anything here. Uh, but if you press A and B at the same time, you should be able to... Ro oh, wait! Oh, no! 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 You bastard! I should have waited. Um, the, the manual does advise you, or just give you a tip, though, that uh, the bass usually come out in the morning. Or the golden hours, as it says. Um, so, there you go. Uh, I'm just gonna press A and B. Yep, and it should give you a real back. Uh, okay. I just wanna... I don't know what I'm doing here. I know, okay, I think that's selecting the... What the fuck? Uh, what is this? Okay, I don't know what the hell that was. Um, you know what? My name is Y. That's my name. That's my real name, man. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll pick another spot. How about, like, here? Wait a few minutes or seconds. I'm not waiting all day. God, you gotta love that piercing music. You know, the, the compositions are actually really good. It's just the sound engine, like it's just these bland square wave instruments, and it's just, ah. Eh. Oh come on, no. No, come on. Oh, you son of a bitch! God damn it! Wait. Okay, can I pick another one? There we go, okay. I know Edo means move, so I chose that one, hoping I could try again. Motherfucker! How am I supposed to do this? See, I suck at games like this. Is this the kind of game I want to get into? But... Wait! Wait! Oh! Okay, what am I supposed to do? Okay, I'm pressing the A button. So on the bottom left, that's basically the fish's health, so to speak. I see the more it degrades, the, the less, the weaker it becomes. So I'm pressing the A button here at like kind of a fast speed, and I'm moving the lure left and right. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Oh yeah, see the fish is losing strength there. Um, unfortunately this is not a bass because it's got an orange color. Can't remember what kind of fish it is. And basically they're bas they're useless because they don't give you any points and the only way to score points in this game is if you catch bass. What the fuck happened there? Oh my god. Okay, I hate this game already. Wait, what? Okay, I'm gonna... What?! Um, says something about the rod or the lure or something? Okay. Um, let's see if that works. Okay. And that's another thing too, these lures actually do different things and have different effects. So you, this is kind of a strategy game. You have to figure out like what the right lure to use and where in the water you should hunt for the for the bass and everything. Yeah. 
No fish, huh? Yeah, sorry guys, looks like this is gonna be a complete waste of time because I can't catch a fucking fish in this game. Ugh, I suck at this. As much as I want to say the game's a piece of shit. I don't know. Although a lot of people who've played this game out there in trial would say, like, I like the game, but it did suck or something, so... I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna... I guess I'm just done. I can't rate this game because... I don't know. It's It's got decent graphics for its time. I think this was made in 1988, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh... The, the, the graphics and the music are okay for the time. And... That's about all I can rate, so I'd give this game a 2 out of 5. Except, I don't know if the gameplay's good. I don't know if it's bad, because I don't know how to fucking play this. I just wanted to do a... You know, a... a what is it? Like a... a first time playing kind of video. So we got Hyosho Shiki with the password. Uh, let's see what we got here. Akiramete Kaeru um, no password. And then Honjitsu no Kiroku wa Miru. Or some about viewing the records. Kojin Totaru no Seiseki. Which I think it's like to view your best record or something, but I don't know. Okay, well, I'm just gonna continue without a password. <sighs> Interesting game, for sure. But, I don't know, if you like fishing games, you could probably figure this shit out. I wish I could, but even after reading the instruction manual, I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. And it's not because I can't read everything. I mean, like I said, I have translations of the whole game and everything, thanks to the manual. But I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. And, yeah, I don't know. It, to be fair, the manual does give you tips on what lures to use and stuff, but, um... Like, I think it said, like, um, silver lures are more likely to work when it's sunny out and stuff. So, I don't know. There, there's some, there's a lot of uh, strategic stuff you gotta know about the game, and I'm just not good at that. Uh, I'm not good at any kind of strategy games. I used to like playing StarCraft, and that was fun, but I'm not good at games like this that make you actually have to think about how you're going to play it and stuff. So, unfortunately, it's a game I want to like, but I can't really like it. And I can't really hate it either, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So, if you grew up with this game, although I see most people who view this video have grown up with the NES version, if they've played this any version of this game at all... How'd you like it? Was was it a good game? Was it bad? You know, or was it one of those things where it was a bad game but you enjoyed it still? Would you recommend it? Like, you know, like I'd probably say like if you find this game for like ten bucks at a used game store, maybe get it. I'd normally say five bucks, but I don't think any any Nintendo games go for five bucks anymore because collectors keep kind of screwing up the market a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna sneeze here. <laughs> Metal Jesus rocks. <sighs> I'm sorry. Oof. Yeah, I make weird noises when I uh, sneeze. Uh, Pat Tanius Puck! Oh, jeez. Oh, God. I think I'm getting sick here. Might have uh, coronavirus or something. Oh. Collector virus. I don't know. Oh. Anyways, this game cost me about uh, 30 bucks. But it's like brand spanking new condition. It comes with the, uh, it comes with the cartridge in the plastic. It comes with the little plastic casing. And of course, we got the... Uh, instruction manual and uh, yeah it's, it's pretty good uh, uh, so okay so anyways I gotta stop faking this cold that I don't actually have and I hope to god that it stays that way um I actually had a migraine at work a few days ago so that was bad enough all right guys well I will see you guys sometime soon um this video is also to let you know that I am still alive and well so hey there's that Alright, well, I'll see you guys later. Uh, God bless. Peace out. Stay safe, guys. Um, hopefully we get through this. I think we will. It's just, you know, I mean, humans survived the Black Plague, so we can do this, right? More, We got more medical technology and everything, so. Alright, take care, guys.